these are very difficult moves. And I typically, you know, I don't want to trade markets like this. I want to wait until this thing sets up a clear pattern that I can understand and then get in sync with the pattern. This has been the nature of the market. It's like, you know, I've been, I was seeing this thing build. I got in at certain entry points. I make money along the way. And, you know, and then I'm out because my whole predisposition is that this thing is very much of a wild beast in a trading market. And, uh, you know, I, I feel that on one hand, that a lot of these things like restoration hardware, we're going to have these short covering rallies. But they were inherently unsustainable because I still feel like we're in this bear market. So I've been straddling both sides of the fence. And I've also, I think, been saying, you know, I think August and certainly the back half of August, where most of the Europeans are on vacation, liquidity dries up, that these markets go into more of a trading range. And to try and handicap this, you know, intraday or, you know, even on a daily basis, you know, has been a, uh, a difficult thing. So, you know, I, uh, you know, one hand want to understand that you'll give credence that there is a, if there is frustration and people are, you know, having difficult, this is a difficult market environment. And I think I've been pretty clear that, you know, if you're in doubt, stay out. And to me, things will clear up, you know, in September or October. Um, things will clear up and we'll get a better picture. But, uh, you know, I would really just encourage you to share your comments, share anything that you're, you know, having struggled with. Sometimes if I throw certain concepts out and you don't understand it, you know, because I, you know, I was saying to this fellow yesterday that I think, you know, for instance, like Dash is now, you know, put in, you know, the patterns that are going to just send it lower. Sometimes it just becomes much more clear than other times. So, and I was, but he said to me, but you said that Dash was going to have a trading rally. And, you know, both is true. <laughs> and this is the thing is that, you know, you can have a trading rally within a down market and you have to understand which is which. So, and, and again, maybe I just need to clean up the way I, you know, explain things. So, you know, the markets don't go straight up or straight down. You know, they come down, but you can have a, what I call a trading rally where the market bottoms out at some point, and it is going to go higher. In this case, Dash went from 55 to 90. That is like a 60% move. And this is what I'm talking about, you know, as a trading rally. There was, you know, a certain part in June where I started seeing these bottoms, which, you know, to my mind, would give rise to these, you know, quick short covering rallies. But to my mind, it's in the cadence of a market that's going lower. So it's balancing these two thoughts where you're trying to catch a little move, but now you realize you got to get out very quickly before it goes into the major trend. And now I think we're seeing, you know, a series of patterns and dash and many other things that are kicking these back into their long-term trends that started all the way here. So to me, my whole operating philosophy is uh, I, I try and find things that are unambiguous and ready to go directionally. Now, you know, these are very difficult moves. And I typically, you know, I don't want to trade markets like this. I want to wait until this thing sets up a clear pattern that I can understand and then get in sync with the pattern. And so to me, when I look at a chart, first, the first thing I say to myself, you know, is this an up or down trend? And I think clearly this is things dropped from 130 to 70 over the last <coughs> year. And so it's been in a downtrend and it, and it started off with a very clear pattern. So you had a double top and, you know, this head and shoulders, which again, just is the left side of a man or woman's shoulder. This is the head. And that's the right shoulder. And now we have a very clear price pattern. And this is what I think we're looking at at Moderna. So even though Moderna is here, you know, I'm looking at the pattern that is, you know, that has the implications where it's going to go uh, in the direction of the pattern. But as you can see, you know, you see these patterns and then it can go for literally a year 
before now it goes in a direction that we can, you know, hop a clean ride on. And so this is the difficulty is that, you know, I see certain things, but it could take days, weeks, sometimes months to resolve. So every day I'm on here, I'm trying to, you know, sort this thing out. But that's the nature of trading. My whole philosophy on trading is that I'm trying to find a few good setups a year where I, you know, once I understand the trend, I can go on a ride. I can start building a position with confidence. When you're in these kind of, you know, uh, uh, market conditions, this is, you know, this is not some time where you, you have confidence. I just take little nibbles at things, try and go on, you know, look at reversals, go on short rides. But you know, now I look at, you know, something like Dash and I, I feel I can start building a position that if this thing starts rallying, I will start shorting into these rallies with the view that eventually this is going to go lower. So the whole thing is to, you know, recognize what is going on in the market, but understanding that it can, you know, take a long time to resolve. And every time you think it's resolved, it always has one more thing. I mean, even, you know, right here. Uh, you know, Dash has got this beautiful now. It looks, you know, again, it just it's 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 completely mimicking that pattern down here. So you've got that pattern here, and now you've got a secondary pattern, and now it's ready to go to the next level. So you can see, yeah, 45 is 1.3 million. 1.3 million dollars short. So pop out a profit for 118,000 there. But so you can see how this is going crazy now. You can see how the market just going nuts. I bet like a, a million six on this position. I'm showing right now twenty-three thousand dollar gain.